Before we start understanding JSP life cycle, we need to know the answers for the following questions. What is JSP? When we already have servlets, then what is the need of JSP? Once we are clear with the answers for the above two questions, then we can continue with the JSP life cycle. Now let us understand what is JSP. Java Server Pages is a technology that helps software developers to create platform independent dynamic web applications rapidly based on HTML or XML document types. JSP technology separates the user interface from content generation which enables the designers to change the overall page layout without altering the underlying dynamic content. When we already have servlets for the web development using Java, then why do we need JSP technology? So let us understand some of the limitations of servlets. Web application development using servlets requires strong knowledge of Java. Writing the HTML code within the servlet page will be very difficult. Servlet is a picture of both presentation logic written using HTML and business logic written using Java. Whenever we make any changes or modifications to the servlet, it has to be recompiled and then redeployed to see the changes. Now let us understand what is the advantage the developers will get using JSP. To develop a JSP program, it is not mandatory that the developer should have a strong programming knowledge. Writing the HTML code in JSP program is easy and it is similar to HTML. Modifications done to the JSP is recognized automatically and the changes will be affected immediately. JSP programs are by default thread safe. JSP programs can use standard tags. We can create our own custom tags using tag extension API. As we have reusable tag libraries, the amount of code needed to write powerful web applications will greatly reduce us. It is easy to learn, implement and to maintain JSP pages. Now let us understand the life cycle of JSP. Whenever a client sends a request to the JSP file to the server, then the web container translates the JSP page into Java source code for creating a servlet class. If any JSP syntax errors are present, then they are caught in this phase, which is called as translation phase. The container tries to compile the servlet Java source into class file. Java language or syntax errors are caught at this phase and this phase is called as compilation phase. Once the Java source file is compiled to class file, then the container loads the newly generated servlet class and then instantiates the servlet and calls the servlet's JSP init method to run. And then the container creates a new thread to handle the client's request and the servlet's JSP service method runs. And eventually the servlet sends a response back to the client or forwards the request to another web app component. When we deploy a web app with a JSP, the whole translation and compilation phase happens only when the JSP page is requested for the first time or the JSP page has been modified. Once it has been translated and compiled, it is just like any other servlet. Once the servlet has been loaded and initialized, the only thing that happens at request time is creation or allocation of a thread for the service method. And finally, whenever the container removes the servlet instance from service, it calls the JSP destroy method to perform any required cleanup. 
Now let us understand in detail about JSP lifecycle methods. The generated servlet class for JSP file will be implementing HTTP JSP page interface which provides the JSP service method and this method corresponds to the body of the JSP page and this method is defined automatically by the JSP container and as a developer we should never provide the definition for the JSP service method explicitly. HTTP JSP page interface extends JSP page and the JSP page interface describes the generic interaction that a JSP page implementation class must satisfy and this interface provides two methods JSP init and JSP destroy. JSP init method is invoked when the JSP page is initialized and the JSP destroy method is invoked when the JSP page is about to be destroyed. JSP page interface extends javax.servlet.servlet. JSP init and JSP destroy methods can be overridden as per the requirement. Whenever we use Eclipse and Tomcat server, then the generated servlet class will be extending org.apache.jasper.runtime.http JSP base, where HTTP JSP base class is an abstract class which extends javax.servlet.http.http servlet and implements javax.servlet.jsp.http JSP page. As we got a fair idea on JSP lifecycle, the next most important point that we need to know will be the JSP development models. 